What has changed most for us since the last time we were on the and? <laughs> uh, it's been... We, we bought, no, 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 I'm just like, it's like where to start so much as we, we, have, we own a home. Yeah. Uh, in LA. We own a home, yeah, we own a home in LA. And uh, the biggest thing is like, we have we a had kid. A kid. Yeah. It happened. Yeah, we like, did it. We, thing, we did the thing that we've been trying to do. And yeah. it's, it's that, so big. <laughs> it's such a big thing. It's objectively a huge thing. Yeah. I, I'm going to say something that sounds terrible. I was terrified about our relationship once we like had a kid, but like the kid, she, she's making it even better. <laughs> can you, uh, can you elaborate? I mean, we know people, we have friends who they had children and you're just like, Ooh, hope they make it. I feel like yeah. I don't feel that anxiety. No, I feel we're pretty, I feel like things are very strong. There have been, our relationship is different. It's not yes. good, it's not bad, it's just different. Oh, I thought, it, you, I, I think it's no, good. My <laughs> wow. My point is, it's not that, it's very interesting to see how our relationship is no longer about just us anymore, if that makes sense. A hundred percent. I think it's better. Yes. I placed a value judgment on it. I said better. I'm just saying, it's, I think you and I were very much like, we're ride or die, it's us versus the kid, whatever happens. And like, now that the kid's here, it's like, Oh yeah, no, that's not how it works. Like we're we're it's now a team of three. It's very different. Yeah, we're a team of three. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm I have allergies. I know it's a tick you have. It's not even a tick. I can't. If I babe, just spoke, it would just ba be. Babe, you hear this? You babe, hear it? Twelve years. <clears throat> it's a, it's your tell. It's a tell you have. It's a tell that I'm about to. Read a, Read a thing. Describe a moment with our baby that you hope you will never forget. Honestly, it's when she was born. That's so cliche. There's got to be another moment. <laughs> but it's true, because in the delivery room, she was coming out, and I was running over and telling you everything that happened. And it was just like surreal. And, you know, I think that whole time, the reason it's like so, like I don't want to forget it, is we were exhausted. It was a whirlwind. Heck, we didn't know she existed. Six eleven? No, 11 days prior to her being born. Yeah. Like, it went from we didn't know she existed to now she's our everything in Under two weeks. In days. Yeah. And, you know, hadn't been around that many newborns. Like, she was just so fragile. And then we take off her diaper and she pees everywhere. That's, like, I don't want to forget those first moments where it's in the middle of the night and the sun's rising and we haven't slept and we don't know what we're doing and we don't know what's next. And you and I are stressed out of, like, is this real? We've waited so long. Is this real? And then... It was just that. It like was just, I, it, it went from is this real to this is very real in like an instant. Yeah, and so I don't want to forget that. Yeah, I think for me, the, those, <clears throat> that first like day and a half where we didn't, we've had so many false starts and things that have fallen through and, and, and we, you know, we, we'd gone through a lot of uh, 
uh, heartache. Um, and so the whole time we were down there waiting to see if this was going to happen, I think it was a lot of like, I, I almost like couldn't let myself believe it was real. And I don't think it was until her birth mother left that I remember she left and that we started bawling. And I think that's the moment that I never want to forget because I feel like that's the moment where like we were, like yeah, we were there for the delivery, we were there for everything, but like that was the moment where I'm like, no, this is, we're a family. Like it's, like we had a kid. It, that was the realest moment to me of it all. You didn't see her come out. <laughs> I heard. You didn't see. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Baby's got a melon. <laughs> I love her so much. What have you learned about me as a parent that you didn't see in me as a lover? Interesting. You are someone who you, you lead with a lot of good intentions and love. Now watching you transition that into motherhood, it's so much of it is in the best of ways, it's the same. You're kind of exactly the kind of mom I expected you to be. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, are, you are, you are the, you are exactly the kind of mother I expected you to be. Um, you know, I, I don't have a doubt that this kid's gonna grow up with healthy self-esteem and boundaries. and She better. Uh, I, 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 I think the thing that I'm the most surprised about is how on the money I was uh, in my assumptions about you as a mom. Like, it's, I'll take that as a compliment. It is a compliment, that's the whole point. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Um, no, it's great, it's like everything about this has been exactly what I hoped it would be. Yeah. I feel like I know it will be hard. Humans are hard. We are trying to get a little human to be a big human in a world that's terrifying and scary. I feel like some people look at us and they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. And I, like, I get it. I have that feeling too, but I'm like, I don't feel it. I feel like this is a hard thing. Raising humans are hard but we're gonna be okay. So many people have said it, they're like, you two have never looked so happy. I was like, it's true, Kinda, we're really yeah. freaking happy. I've never been so happy. I have, I mean, I am happy, content. Are there things I wanna do and dreams and goals? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I didn't die once I became a parent, like my insides, my goals, but like, it has, it's just awesome. Yeah. I don't know if you have this. I, we're four and a half months in now. I don't, how do I put this? I don't feel like a dad. I feel like I'm taking care of a human. I feel like I have a baby, but I don't feel like a dad. And I'm starting to wonder if that's all being a parent is. It's like, you know, you just take, you just are, you are indebted to a, a, a little human being. Did you ever feel that? Like, what is, I mean, what is it gonna I, feel like to I, be like a mom? I feel like a mom because I feel judged by society. Um, the I'm laughing because it's true. I mean, the judgment. It's, yeah. it's like, oh, woman, you have a child. <laughs> Let me tell you opinions you don't need. That, so I feel the societal mom thing, but I think for me, I, I am hers for the rest of my life. She will not be mine. I am hers. And that's the part that I didn't really understand. My life, now that she's in it, will end with her. In the sense that like, she will always be my child. There is nothing she can do to take that away. But when I think about the stereotypical motherhood thing, huh, it's still, I mean, you hear me snap and I'm like, no, you can't do that. The mothers will come for me. <laughs> Because, yeah. it, I mean, it's... It's why you were so mad about the outfit I put her in the other I day. I mean, it's... You're like, people are going to judge me for it. I was like, but I did it. Yes, but they always judge me. And I don't... And I, like... The number of times and the number of people who've... Mainly men. But the number of people who've said, Oh, 
don't you miss your baby if I step away from her? I'm like, of course I miss my baby. I love my baby. I also have work to do. I also have my life I have to live. And if I'm not living my life as a person and being a good model for my daughter, what am I showing my daughter? If she so chooses to identify as a female when she's an adult. I don't want her to have to struggle with all that bullshit because it's, it doesn't, I don't want to project that onto her. Uh, I didn't think that part would be so frustrating. That's the part of motherhood I'm really struggling with because half of all my work environments, that's what they're projecting onto me. And I was like, ah, that's the misogyny in the motherhood. And I, I knew it existed intellectually. I've read the books, but I didn't understand how toxic and how much it's repeated. If that is the relationship you want to have with your child and you want to be there full time, go for it. If that is not your relationship, also go, go for, for it. it. Making sure your kid's taken care of, cool. That's it. <sighs> <clears throat> When have you seen me the most vulnerable and what did it teach you about loving me? I don't know if this is the most vulnerable, but it, it makes me think of today. So, get my hair done. And I just wanted to make sure, uh, baby girl, she was up and you were changing her and you were just talking to her. And you were talking to her so earnestly and excitedly as she was literally taking a shit. <laughs> and you were just so honest and present. And I think you've achieved new levels of vulnerability since she's come into our life. And I think that maybe you were capable of it, but this is the best way you've ever expressed your vulnerability because you're just so present. She, I've never been more present than when I I'm know. With her. It's, it's shocking how, yeah. I, like, I, maybe just like a month into, into having her, I think I turned to you, I was like, I've never, I've never felt this consistently present in my life. I've never seen you this present. I have been waiting to do this my whole life. This mm -hmm. is, I remember in grade school being like, oh, I can't wait to be a dad, that seems cool. And I've been waiting to do this for like 30 years. We've been actively trying to do this for five years. I mean it when I say almost every single day I have to pinch myself because it doesn't, it still does not feel real. It's still wild to me that we're gonna go home tonight and there's gonna be a baby living in our home. <laughs> it's wild to me. How she sleeps, kid. <laughs> She's so. She's got a lot of personality. I, she got a lot of personality. I mean, uh, her little three stooges squirm around her crib. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, she just spiral. How, I mean, like, how can you not be? I love that we like do music. You know, we sing. Well, there's so much more music in the house now. But like, all of those things are like. I don't know, I've been waiting my whole life to do this, and now I get to do it, and I know it's gonna go fast. And so I'm trying to, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, we can't buckle up, it goes fast, and you cherish these minutes. Like, yeah, no shit. I'm trying to get the most out of this because I know it's going to go fast. I can't believe almost five months have gone. It's pretty cool. It's cool. It's very cool. What does my love feel like? Safety. Home. Yeah. 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 Um, it was a good answer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, there's no, really nothing else to say. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I know this is an easy one. What's your wish for our child? Oh, that she gets to be whoever she needs to be. Yeah. 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 All I want is our kid. She can be whoever she needs to be. Not what, because sometimes 
what you want to be isn't available to you for a multitude of reasons, but who she needs to be. That's, I, 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 want that, I want that for our kid more than anything because the world really has a lot of opinions on who you should be. And I want her to be able to take ownership in space and be like, nah, this is it. <laughs> and like throw a middle finger to everyone else. <laughs> I, I will I frequently talk to her while I'm changing her and tell her like all I want for you is to just find something you're passionate about and do it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of all I really want for her. Mm -hmm. In twenty years when our daughter watches this conversation, what do you hope she'll take away from it? Oh man, that just made me really sad. Um because she'll be grown and gone. She'll be yeah, living. but then, then we get her room back. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, she'll have a sofa to stay, but on priority, she she's twenty years old. Finally, get that sex room. <laughs> 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 yeah, it'll. Uh, she'll have complicated feelings, yeah. but. Just uh, put the inflatable air mattress by the St. Andrew's cross. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> just know mom and dad are gonna have so much, so more, much sex. more sex. Don't take that mom. part away, but what would you like her to take away? Uh, I think the thing I would want her to take away is how much we wanted her and how much we've planned for her and how much we, I, I want her to look back on this and um, honestly like want to do this herself with someone i hope in 20 years she looks at this and understands even if she's like oh you guys suck sometimes why do you talk about sex rooms on camera <laughs> i was like because we have sex and it's fun but i hope she's actually able to look and be like my parents loved each other my parents loved me and they wanted the life they have. And they wanted the family. And that we say it so much, but it's true. I love her so fucking much. I love you so fucking much. I love our family. And as it continues to grow, it has Awesome. It's really awesome. And I do not minimize the responsibility and the obligation. And I just want our, our baby girl, if she watches this in 20 years, to know we only love her more. I mean, it's, I know it's cliche, but it's like that thing of like, oh, you love them more every day, but it's true. It's like, you think that the well is full, and then like you wake up one day, and the well is like 20 feet deeper, and you're like, nope, it's... And I know and I'm like, gonna wake up in 20 years and be like, holy shit, time. B, I can't wait to meet the complex adult with opinions who tells me I'm wrong. <laughs> you and are she, occasionally wrong. But, but she'll be wrong too, don't worry, I'll tell her. <laughs> but it'll be respect that brings us to the table because that's the thing, I want her to know that on a primal level, I respect her, and I respect who she needs to be. And that's it's fucking cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. Do you think we say cool more because we live in California? Probably, it is pretty cool. Oh man. That's a cool thing Dude. you guys will have in common. Yeah, yeah. I'm still a Cali girl. I lived in New York, I have a little bit of edge, but I'm still, Still a California girl. I love you. I love you. It's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask some of these questions to your significant other? Check out the and couples edition at theskindeep.com slash shop.